All right, Brew, you ready to do a video? Should we get them? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of Always On Outdoors. Uh, we're still here, fall 2022. I'm not ready to put the boat away yet. So we're out on Lake Mille Lacs. I consider this kind of my home body of water. Um, and we're just out here uh, jigging some, some fall walleye. We're using uh, jigging a minnow and uh, catching them not shallow, but you know, 20 feet off of uh, right off the edge of shallow structure. So um, we'll kind of walk through what we're doing, how we're catching them, stuff like that, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Keep tuned. All right, buddy. Let's go get them. All right. So kind of the program. Last couple of videos is kind of the same thing here. Um, I got the live scope on the back here and. Um, well, first, you know, I drove around and marked these fish on 2D. Um, I'm not searching for fish with live scope. I know that there's fish in the area. What I'm doing is I'm just pinpointing these fish with the live scope, so I'm not making blind casts. I'm not wasting time. I'm, I'm being super efficient with this. So I was just setting up the cameras, and I kind of scooted in a little far, but we're fishing 20 to 21 feet out here, so... I got a quarter ounce jig on. It is a um, Northland Deep V jig in a parrot color. And then just a uh, fathead minnow on here and they are choking it. I also want to note it's like November 5th? Saturday, November 5th out here and we're still fishing in a boat. Water temps are 45, 46 degrees. But uh, it won't be long now before we start ice fishing. And I can tell you what, this is a spot that I am going to come to right away for early ice on Mille Lacs. There is no question about that. There's one right there. Picked it up on the fall. It was like an okay one. Ooh, spunky smallmouth. Walleye. Walleye. Good one. This is fun. I love fall fishing. Getting them with the jig in the middle. A nice one. Not too large, but fun. This is fun. Right there, maybe like a, I don't know, 18 incher. Can't keep anything on my, well, you can keep one between 21 and 23, I think. But we're not out here to keep. We kept enough up on uh, one of a gosh, so we're gonna get them back. Nice little walleye there. Off like a rocket. All right, so this is the jig I'm using. This is a Northland Deep V. We're fishing a little bit deeper water. Uh, so I went up to a quarter ounce here. This is a parrot colored. These jigs are great because they got that little V profile to them. They'll fall a little bit quicker, especially in this deeper water, so you can get down to those fish. But uh, yeah, eight pound test leader, uh, CR Invisix, Invisix, something like that. I don't know, 10 pound mainline, medium light action rod. I use a Victory Series. Well, I use a Premier Series also, but this is a Victory Series from St. Croix. 610 medium light extra fast, and then a 2500 Fluger uh, Supreme is my reel of choice. So that's the business. I'll tell you what, guys, when it's nice and cold like this, the one thing you don't want to forget is your minnow net. One thing I want to point out is a lot of people are like really concerned with you know, seeing their jig on the live scope. Um, I, I've kind of come to note that, or notice that, uh, you know, you, sh you waste a lot of time doing that. Really, I mean, you know the fish are there, just fish it, you know, like, like you normally would if you didn't have live scope. You don't really need to see, it's fun to watch, obviously, right? But, uh, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Nice little pot of three here, about 26 feet. A jig falling down. Again, you don't really need to see that. I know that I'm gonna be in those fish.
Ooh, there's one. There's one. Oh, it came off. Well, quite honestly, with how many fish are around here, I could probably just spot lock. But this is this is a lot more fun. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a good one. That was really cool. That one came up off the bottom to eat that. So sometimes it does help to see it, but it's not, not necessary to see your jig. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Oh yeah, right in the top of the lip. Okay. There we go, guys. Getting her in the bottom of that Beckman net. And this parrot color is just absolutely doing work. I'll show you here. You can see it's just right, right in the snoot where you want it. It's a nice one, probably about 20 inches. Nice, healthy fish here. It's gonna be fun, this population of walleye. You know, you used to hear, oh, that's a Malax walleye with the big head, skinny body. Over the past two years now, I've kind of noticed that they're starting to fill out a little bit. We're gonna get this guy back and get down there. Oh man, what a fish. Off like a rocket. Well, I don't know what happened to that footage. This GoPro is bugging out, man. Well, whatever. We're just gonna roll without it. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one. I think we got a good one here. This one feels really good. This one might be another mid 20s. If I do say so myself. Put that ready leader here. Got about eight feet. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I might have already caught this one. Oh, and wait till you see how he has that jig. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't know if if like if you can beat fall fishing. Everyone's so excited about oh hard water season this. Uh. Dude, I'm out here trying to soak this up as much as I can. This is, oh my gosh, this is an absolute toad of a walleye. Come on, buddy. Just, I just want to take a picture. Oh man, choked. Got this VMC deep V jig down the hatch. I think, uh, I think they say that's how you know when you got things dialed. Here we go, guys. Nice, meaty fish. I'm gonna get him back, because he's bleeding pretty good. I'll let you go. And he took off. Blood all over my boat now. That's okay, he'll be fine. This cold water like that, he'll, uh, he'll take off nice and easy. Another one in the Beckman net. Let's go, brew. Some chunkers out here. Let's do it again, do it again. Not as big, but still a, still a decent one. This one might be about 20. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Better. This is just 
Unreal, guys. So much fun. Again, just right, right in the top of the Ralph. They, they really want this, this Parrot jig, this VMC Deep V. Wow. This is. I'm not ready for ice fishing. I'll tell you what. I'd rather be in a boat. This is so much more fun. So much more fun. Gone. Gone. I'll tell you what, Brew. I know exactly where we're going. Early ice. It's too easy. Yeah, that one uh, hit it on the fall. I didn't even uh, didn't get a chance to jig it. Felt the thump on the way down. I was watching it in the live scope, and uh, she smoked it. My hands are getting freezing. Look at that. Uh, again, right in the top of the mouth. I like this parrot colored jig. Usually, I use a gold or a silver. Um, I really like those colors out here, but I don't know. They are smoking this. I don't know, nice little chunky 20, 21, probably a slot fish, but again, we're not keeping them. Let them go. See you in a few weeks, buddy. No, oh, that's cool, dude. I'm, you'll see me. I'm the only idiot over here. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, buddy. All right, see you in a bit. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for us. We uh, put a few fish in the boat or in the boat today. Nice fall day. It is chilly. We are well into November, and we are fishing on borrowed time right now. So I got about a I don't know, a 10 mile ride back here, back to the boat ramp, and uh, I got to meet up with a buddy quick. And it's gonna get dark in like mm, 40 minutes. So. We're going to get to rolling, pack up, head out. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment, check us out on Instagram at Always On Outdoors. We really appreciate it. Um, and I don't know if I'll be in the boat again, but uh, possibly the next video you'll see will be us ice fishing. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.